Hello, hello, everybody. It is me, Mr. Stray. You joined by Stick Bob today. I'm joined by Stick Bob. That is right. This is Gamer Milk, a retro gaming podcast where we're, uh, we play a um, play a retro game for one week, 15 years or older, uh, for a week, and then we talk about it on this podcast. Now, I might sound a little weird right now, and that's because I have a gauze in my mouth because I got my wisdom teeth pulled yesterday. Uh, we, this is our second time recording this. So first time we were recording and then my mouth started to hurt. So I put the gods in and then I realized we weren't recording. Uh, we are back and I am doing all right. Got my wisdom teeth pulled yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I've been eating ice cream. <laughs> How are you doing, uh, this week? Uh, stick up. I've been doing good. Okay. Now I can't eat any solid food, which sucks. So I'm eating ice cream and mashed potatoes, and stuff like that. Maybe ice cream's not that bad, but it's all, it still sucks that I can't have actual food. And yesterday, I was just watching cooking videos because I was so hungry. I watched a video on a guy cooking well. And, uh, yeah, it looked pretty delicious, not gonna lie. Now, Stick Bob, do you have a favorite food? Probably got the pasta. Pasta? Uh, do, do you have yeah. a preferred way to cook it? Like what is? I don't know, I've never it. No, like like macaroni, um, spaghetti. I, I like macaroni. Macaroni, that's a good choice. <laughs> the classic gamer choice right there is macaroni. You can never go wrong. Well, one of my favorite foods is uh soup. I love soup. Now I can eat soup, but it would have to be cold. <laughs> uh, I I like soup. Uh, one of the foods that I wish I could eat, which I'll probably eat after. I uh I'm able to eat, which is probably like a week or two. Um, is uh chili dogs. And the main character of our game's favorite food this week is chili dogs. We played Sonic Battle. Sonic Battle is a 2003 fighting game developed by Sonic Team for the Game Boy Advance. It is the second fighting game in the Sonic the Hedgehog series, the first game being in Sonic the Fighters, which I believe you've played, right? Yes, I have. Okay. Sigma has played it. I have not. Uh, it was released in Japan in December 2003 in North America and, Euro and Europe in the early 2004. The game received a lukewarm response from critics. Now, it's a 3D arena fighting game, and we played the story mode. You're a 2D character playing the Sonic, and you're in a 3D battle. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, you get to pick your majority of attacks, um, your first, second, and third, which usually I just... I just spammed the A button or whatever to just select all three. I really didn't care what order they were in. Uh, what is the beginning of the story, Stick Buff? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. I, I, okay. So it's like, it starts off with, uh, you find Sonic finds this robot. I forgot the robot's name, but you find this robot that Dr. Eggman says is basically useless and you bring him back to tells. And once you get there, uh, you go, you, you're traveling, like, there's this weird town. It's this weird town that you travel around and, um, uh, you go to the beach, you go to Tell's house, you go to the laboratory and, and repeat that a bunch of times. Uh, now, the game, the only, it's not a classic Sonic game. Like, um, classic Sonic game would be you running and <laughs> collecting coins on a certain level. Then boom, you're done. Once you reach the end, uh, this one is a straight fighting game. You're just, you're just fighting, and okay, I'm gonna be honest here. I didn't like the fighting. Thought uh, it was kind of kind of dumb. All you have to do is spam. Uh, you just spam your ground attack, or sometimes you do an air attack. Like Sonic will go into his little uh, what's it called? He, tur um, he turns into a ball. Anyways, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic does his classic. I the spin dash? Yeah. Okay, well, he he does a spin dash attack, and he, he'll shoot you up into the air, or he'll shoot, like, a pocket of air at you. I don't I can't really tell. And it's basically that repeated over and over, but with different people. Um, You're trying to rack up points. Like, there's one where you fight Tails and this robot that you have. You fight them both at the same time, and the first it's the first one to 10 knockouts. So you have to knock out the person. They respawn is the first person to 10 knockouts. Uh, I did that pretty easily. I think... Tails had f two knockouts, and the robot had one knock knockout at that time. Did you get to that level? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Um, now, that is... Uh, saying that, that is the last level that I played. Yes, because your teeth. 
my teeth and also i'm just gonna come out and say it i didn't really enjoy this game for the fighting aspect i didn't enjoy this game i didn't enjoy that much either okay we're on the same path here um the animations and the graphics the animations uh so you're in a 3d arena but your character is 2d and it makes the hitting aspect like hitting a character really hard uh it's it's uh it makes it a little difficult to hit somebody when your character is 2d and everything else is 3d it has the same aspect you got to collect uh chaos emeralds I, I believe like in every sonic game the animations like okay for 2d yeah the animations are pretty good now the 3d animations for the 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 battling like the the places where you're put uh i thought those were really cool for being on the game boy advance <laughs> the graphics i mean i think they do look good uh for for being this i think the colors are really nice they pop out uh sonic games usually do have pretty good colors and stuff uh the the graphics are good uh audio is really good the audio oh my goodness the audio in every sonic game i don't think there's a single sonic game that has bad audio if you take a sonic game the one thing that is always good is its audio. Have you played a Sonic game with bad audio before? Uh, you have. You have played more Sonic games than me, though. I believe. Have you? Have you beaten any? Uh, I have not beaten any Sonic games. Okay, you haven't beaten any Sonic games. Also, I haven't beaten any Sonic games. It's really. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think I just get annoyed at Sonic games. Uh, Sonic colors, I get annoyed at. I'm playing Sonic Frontiers. And I'm almost done with it. I think it's going to be the first Sonic game that I do beat. As far as audio, the audio is great. Fantastic. Uh, animations, I'm going to say they are all right. I really just don't understand. I kind of understand that. I don't understand why they went for a 3D, uh, 3D and then 3D mixed with 2D. Like 2D characters, but in a 3D setting. Uh, that doesn't really make sense to me. Why not just make it look like Super Smash Bros, but on the Game Boy Advance? That would have been pretty cool, Super Smash Bros, but you're Sonic characters. I think that would have been really cool, and probably a lot easier to battle in. Uh, the battle, it's not hard, it's just it's annoying when you're hitting a character, but you aren't actually hitting them. Uh, because of your 2D character in a 3D setting, it makes it really difficult. We are, the game isn't hard. Did you, th did you find it hard? No. I mean, I have to give it a rating on difficulty. Probably like a 4, 5 out of 10. Or... 10 being the most difficult. Okay, okay. So it's like a 4 or 5 out of 10, so like a 4.5. If you know what you're doing, you're fine. Uh, yeah, well, you don't actually have to know. You could just spam buttons and win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you know how to spam buttons, uh, you're probably a god at this game. Now, the uh, yeah, graphics hold up, audio is good. Uh, the game's not hard. Uh, like Sigbo said, it's like a 4.5 <laughs> out of 10. All you have to do is spam, and then you're, you are you basically win. Uh, do you have a favorite part of the game? Probably the actual fighting, but there's only two things. Fighting and going between fights. I'm going to have to say music. I think uh, music, music is probably my favorite part of this game. I did quite like music. Yeah, I, I thought, that, you know, Sonic games. It's just Sonic game, so if... If there's a Sonic game without music, then it's trash. <laughs> it's just trash. Sonic games have to have music. They rely on music. The music adds to the character of the levels and everything. You have a favorite part of this game. Oh, I meant least favorite. You have a, a least... Wait, wait. Yeah, least favorite part. A least favorite part? Yeah. Um, or like the long, like, text dialogue between fights. That's kind of annoying. You don't like the dialogue? No, not really. All right, so I skipped the dialogue at the beginning, but then since I found out that I didn't like fighting in the game, um, I started reading the dialogue to get the story. I remember one of the parts. He was, Sonic was talking to a girl. Uh, I don't know. She, she looks like a cat or something. I forgot her name. But it's like, uh, the girl really likes Sonic. And she was, <laughs> he was like, I can get a date with a girl anytime and stuff. And Sonic just rejects her on oh. a date. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, <laughs> but I I would say my least favorite part, probably the fighting. I, I didn't enjoy the fighting. 
I thought it was way way too easy and too boring and bland now we've kind of we've we very much rushed uh through this this is probably our quickest episode uh so yeah uh let's let's but it's mostly because i didn't play that much of this game at all me neither <laughs> uh, you played more than me though <laughs> yeah i did not play a lot of this game i uh i really thought it was dumb that takes us to um that takes us to is this game good are we gonna give it our approval for being a good game i'll go first i guess yep <laughs> um what do you think okay this game has beautiful colors uh beautiful design um i i just don't like how the characters are 2d in a 3d world probably to the limit as uh, probably due to the limitations of game boy advance so i think they should have just done like a super super sonic bros or something Super Smash Bros. but with Sonic. Um, but music is amazing. Uh, it's pretty cool. 3D game. 3D-ish game on a Game Boy Advance. Um, I'm gonna put sadly, the fighting sucks. I that That's your most crucial part of this game, is the fighting. So I'm gonna have to give it a no. I do not give this my gamer badge approval. My gamer milk approval. Uh, your turn, Sick Bob. I agree with you, huh? not gonna give it the game game milk approval so this does not get the gamer milk approval okay uh going that we were going to give it a yes Maybe. like when you first heard of this game probably yeah yeah no i really thought that this was going to be an easy gamer milk because it had sonic on it but i think they really messed up which is why they said that uh critics were uh lukewarm responses from the critics uh, you know, there was good and there was bad about it. Um, and this is a sequel to Sonic the Fighters. Did Sonic the Fighters look just like this game? Uh, no, actually, I don't think so. Sonic the Fighters was an actual 3D game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, you're fighting over the chaos gym, I think. You're fighting in a boxing ring. Yeah, maybe and one I, I actually yeah. haven't looked it up until now. This game actually looks a lot better than this game and it looks more funner yeah <laughs> sonic it really is a lot funner um even in first it's a lot better but it's a 1996 game so maybe we'll be able to play it sometime hey but yeah this game does not get the approval uh will we replay this game no no yeah <laughs> no. <laughs> the game's very boring and obviously due to how we played it not that much <laughs> we didn't play that much oh my goodness this game is so boring. Um, is there an audience for this game? Okay, I guess if you're into Sonic lore, yeah. Play it for the lore. Maybe I don't know, maybe somehow you could like this. Yeah, maybe yeah, I don't know. If you want the story, this is a sequel to Sonic the Fighters. Yeah, if you want to continue Sonic the Fighters lore and get the full story, then you have to play this game, I guess. Or you can just watch somebody play through all the cutscenes <laughs> and then boom you got it <laughs> just read the entire cutscenes like a comic book now before we spin the wheel um how would you have changed this game for the better probably the fighting a little funner as you said it's not that good <laughs> yeah it, it really isn't it's super repetitive as well just spamming the same buttons over and over again yep you just have to spam harder than the bot and then you're good so yeah, it's super repetitive. Who wants to do that all the time? Nobody. Now, we're going to pick a new game. Yay. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully, this game is good. Now, we do have a new thing that we're adding. It is games the same. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> games of the same name. Uh, whatever we're going to... I don't have an official name for it. Just calling it games of the same name. Um, me, It's games that me and Stick Bob both own. Uh like on the Wii or anything else that we own. It's games that we both own and they don't have to be 15 years or older. Some of them are though, but some of them aren't. Um, and it's just, it's a new thing uh, that we're adding. They're not retro. Most of them aren't retro, but they're like, they're like a year off from being retro or whatever. So uh, it is being added along with our special list um and uh yeah we're gonna see what game we have this we'll pick the game that we play this week you ready stick bob yeah i'm ready all right here we go okay wow 
we have the SNES, the SNES, Super Nintendo Ooh. Entertainment System, which is known for having some good games on it. This is our first uh, SNES game. And finally, we are not playing Game Boy Advance. It's a movie game. He carries a whip. He wears it. A... I, know, I know what it is. Oh, what is it? It's Indiana Jones. Yeah, Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures for the SNES. The SNES. It was, it was made in 1994. Uh, have you seen the Indiana Jones movies? No, I have not. Some of them are a hit, hit or miss. Uh, still good movies, fun to watch. I I played. Uh, I believe both of us have played. Uh, a Indiana Jones game before. That being uh, Lego Indiana Jones. And what's funny is I think we played through the game like at least three times. Um, the first one. I want to get Lego Indiana Jones two. The Adventure Continues. I think that's what it's called. Uh, do you have that one? I do not. I I uh I don't know if I played it. I might have played it before. I know it wasn't as popular as the first Lego Indiana Jones, but um still a Lego game. And it's Indiana Jones. Playing Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures on the SNES next week. I I'm kind of excited for this one. It might be good. Do you think it's gonna be good? Early predictions? From what you've told me of Indiana Jones, I think so. No, I, I think it I think so. I I, I I hope it's good. Um and S our first SNES game, so we'll see. We're getting to different types of consoles here. We'll see you guys. We'll talk to you guys in a week after we play this game. Uh, but until then, I am Sonic. Yes, I'm Tails. And this is Gamer Milk.